Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to General Hospital teasers, Curtis Ashford was not pleased to learn that Spencer Cassadine was involved in Trina Robinson's Paris plans. Curtis recommended he give Trina his two cents so she could spend it however she wanted. Trina was eager to listen to Curtis, who offered that this semester's study at the Sorbonne be a solo journey instead. Curtis suggested that Trina spend this time exploring Paris on her own and finding her own way. Of course, Trina would prefer to accompany her boyfriend, but Spencer is now dealing with a slew of Esmond Prince concerns as a result of her legal troubles and regaining her memory. Nicholas Cassadine has also returned, so there are multiple reasons that could have an impact on Spencer and Trina's future plans. However, it appears that Trina and Spencer will spend some time in Paris early in the year. GH teasers suggest that Spencer and Trina fans will be treated to a romantic Sprina retreat in the near future. Even if Trina and Spencer's long-term Paris plans fall through, they could still have a wonderful time there. With all this buzz about Paris, Spencer and Trina would undoubtedly choose it as their romantic vacation location. That could provide an opportunity for Trina and Spencer to become even closer. Could Spencer get close enough to propose to the woman he loves? It may be entertaining if Spencer proposes marriage in the most romantic situation possible. That's especially true since it would provide Trina with stunning news to convey to her family when she returned home. Will Trina have an engagement ring to show off soon? Could Spencer's Paris wedding proposal persuade Trina to marry? Whatever happens, Spencer and Trina are about to take their romance to the next level. According to General Hospital spoilers, Trina and Spencer's friendship will grow in unexpected ways, so don't miss out on the action. General Hospital spoilers hint that Jason Morgan and Sam McCall may find a cause to reunite if Jason returns. Sam and Jason will always have a strong bond, but Danny Morgan could help them move forward with their family reunion. To begin, we should mention that 2024 preview spoilers suggest a some familial trouble for Sam and Dante Falconeri. According to GA spoilers, having two teenagers living together will cause problems for Dante and Sam. Scout Kane isn't a teenager yet, so the two teens must be Danny and Rocco Falconeri. It sounds like there might be some conflict between Rocco and Danny, which is a wise writing choice given the circumstances. Now that Jason has returned, he will most likely become Dante's romantic rival in a love triangle with Sam at its heart. Since Dante and Jason may end up battling for Sam's affections, it makes logical to put their sons against each other in the months leading up to that. Danny adored his father, and he still speaks fondly of Jason. There will be an opportunity for this father and son to reunite, so fans can expect some fantastic Jason and Danny moments. When Jason returns to Port Charles, Danny may see an opportunity to be a happy reunited family, away from Rocco, Dante, and all of the issues that are brewing. Danny and Rocco's fight could worsen after Jason returns, putting a strain on Dante and Sam's relationship. Scout may be affected as well, since she will most likely feel caught in the thick of things. If things become bad enough, Scout may even insist on moving in with Drew Kane. Bottom line, the show is poised to throw a lot of challenges at Sam and Dante's family unit. That might open the path for a breakup and a just-on reunion, especially if Jason and Sam bond over their desire to be there for Danny together. According to General Hospital spoilers, Jason's romantic future will be full of exciting twists, so we'll keep you updated on any love life developments. According to General Hospital spoilers, Lucky Spencer was not at Bobby Spencer's funeral, therefore his absence in Port Charles is even more noticeable. It makes no sense for Lucky to never return home to see Laura Collins, Aidan Webber, or anybody else he is connected to. We understand that there may be an actor availability issue, but perhaps it's time to recast the role of Lucky Spencer. Jonathan Jackson is fantastic in the role, but someone else could take over for his next appearance in PC. 
Laura recently invoked Lucky's name while reflecting on all of the Spencer family's losses. There was some discussion about Lucky's troubles, presumably because he had been soul-searching and pouting for so long. Laura could clearly use some extra help, given all of the drama she's been dealing with lately. That is especially true now that Laura is grieving the loss of Bobby in addition to everything else. Laura needs another child on canvas, since Lulu Spencer is unconscious and Nicholas Cassadine is always causing trouble. Could Lucky make a comeback? The timing would be ideal if the show intended to wake up Lulu sooner rather than later. It would be beneficial to have Lucky there for his sister's awakening when the time comes. Plus, Lucky's return would provide Elizabeth Baldwin with another romantic opportunity. Many fans are unimpressed by Liz and Hamilton Finn's Michael Easton connection. It would be interesting to see Liz rekindle her previous spark with Lucky if he returns to town. Lucky's return might either pave the path for a Finn and Elizabeth separation or provide an alternative after they separate. It's worth noting that in the coming months, GA spoilers predict Liz will be surprised by a surprise guest on her doorstep. Someone from Liz's past will need her help, but who will it be? Nicholas or possibly Jason Morgan are reasonable candidates, but we shouldn't rule out Lucky either. It would be fantastic to see Lucky back in some way, so we'll keep you updated on any possible comeback news. According to General Hospital spoilers, Lucky Spencer is absolutely needed in Port Charles. According to General Hospital teasers, Dex Heller will have to wait until Nina Corinthos leaves before carrying out Sonny Corinthos fatal instructions. Sonny is determined to permanently remove Cyrus Renault from the map, so he sends Dex to the hospital to end Cyrus' life. Despite Dex's doubts, Sonny persuaded him to go do what needed to be done. However, Dex did not foresee Nina's arrival to Cyrus' room and would have to wait for them to finish their business. Nina will be busy working with Cyrus to find an arrangement that will help Sonny resolve his present legal issues. Of course, the timing is interesting because Nina asked the nurse's desk for Cyrus' room number. Now there's proof Nina was seeking for Cyrus, which may be an issue if an attempt on his life occurs soon after. We should mention that Sonny will alter his mind and hurriedly try to contact Dex. Sonny will try everything he can to get Dex on the phone and convince him to cancel the expedition. Unfortunately, Dex will be in the middle of carrying out the plan and he will miss Sonny's phone call. That opens the way for Dex to give Cyrus the IV injection he discussed with Sonny off-screen. Cyrus may still survive if Dex miscalculates the dosage or is only able to administer a partial dose before leaving. Cyrus, on the other hand, may seek medical attention before it is too late or receive a traditional soapy miracle. Cyrus could wind up in a coma as a result of an attempted suicide. Cyrus may be unable to determine who attempted to take him out for some time. Nina might face serious consequences if it appears that she was responsible for the nearly fatal injection. Nina could become the primary suspect in the new inquiry, and she may even be arrested at some time. How would Sonny react if Nina was arrested for something he ordered Dex to do? It's an intriguing topic to consider, so perhaps the GH writers will place Sonny in that predicament. According to General Hospital teasers, several twists and turns are still ahead, so stay tuned for updates on any terrible news for Nina. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.